Hey Internet, that's Big Al over here at Paler. Let's spend some time playing around with the line command. What I want to do is show you the traditional way, the historic way of using line command. That involved using two inputs, coordinates. Okay, we're on a coordinate plane, <coughs> excuse me, and the two inputs we're going to use, one will represent the X location and one will represent the Y. Each individual one's called an ordinate. Together, they are coordinates. Okay? All right, now to do this, we're going to have to use a command window. That's this thing right down here. So let's begin. Let's go up and pick up the Home tab, go over, double click the line command, come down here, make sure that we're active. They're asking for the first point. First point of what? Well, let's assume we're going to put a rectangle on here. That's 8.5 by 11. Okay? It would be 11 this way, 8.5 high, 11, 8.5 high. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's start at 0. So let's use the coordinates of x and y at 0, which is what? 0, comma, 0, enter. This is how they did it 25 years ago. Specify the next point. Well, we want to go up here. Okay, well, how do we go up? Well, let me turn on uh, ortho there. Uh, how do we go up? Well, x has to stay, uh, x has to go at 8.5. No, x stays at 0. <laughs> 0, comma, and y is 8.5. There we are. And now let's go to our next point. Our next point is what? When y is 8.5 and x is 11. So go 11, comma, 8.5. Enter. Let's drop down to where x is 11. 11, comma, and y is 0. And let's finish off by going back to 0, 0. 0, 0, comma, 0, enter. Okay, now we have made a rectangle. Let's go up, whoops, enter, enter, there we are. Let's go up and zoom. Let's go to the view, go to extents, and there, that's what we just made. You want to make another line right across the middle? Okay, how about we start by making a diagonal line from here to there. What's this point? Zero, zero. So let's pick up line, oops, go home, pick up line. Okay, our first point is 0, comma, 0, enter. And our last point is what? Right up here, which is what? Where x is 11, y is 8.5. 11, comma, 8.5, enter. And there it is. See it up there? That's how we did it. Enter, enter. You want to do one more? All right. Let's do this one from here to here. Right, let's do one straight across. How's that? Where x equals 0, so we go to line. Okay, first point, x equals 0, comma, y equals 4.25. And now we're coming this way, where x equals 11, comma, and y equals 4.25. And this, that's how it was done, okay? And it was slow and laborious and sort of a pain. But 25 years ago, that's how they did it. And they did some pretty remarkable work. So that's how you work with the line using coordinate inputs. Now let's do some line work using dynamic inputs. Let's do some drafting with dynamic inputs. So that's the subject of the next video. This is Big Al saying uh, so long from Pallier, and we'll see you in a little while.